You guys, I'm freaking out because I shot this video once and I accidentally deleted the entire footage. I just sat down to edit and I realized that I don't have the footage. So I am literally sitting on the floor right now filming this video as fast as I can because I have to get this video up today. If this video goes up today, which is Friday, which is like five hours from now approximately, you guys have to like clap for me. I don't know, wherever you're standing, sitting, whatever, wherever you're watching this video, just because I deserve it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? So in today's video, my background is different. It's all plain so that you can focus on me. And as you guys must have seen the title, it's undetectable no makeup makeup look. Now this makeup look is not like your regular no makeup makeup look. It has a lot of different techniques which I have tried to pick up here and I've realized that they work really well on me. And this has sort of become like my go-to makeup look these days. Like if I'm like shooting like some portraits or even if I'm doing some videos and stuff, like this is my base makeup these days. I don't even feel like uh, doing a full coverage makeup look because uh, you know I just feel like this does the job so yeah comfortable it's very lightweight also the plus is that with the technique that I'm about to show you guys the makeup actually lasts the entire day I'm not even kidding you guys so yeah without wasting any more time let's jump into the video but before that if you're new here hi I'm Simi I hope you're enjoying so far don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give this video a big thumbs up and yeah let's get started you guys let's get started I just want to like take a second and appreciate that my skin has been really good I think last couple of weeks it hasn't broken out or anything I'm so like too too first things first I'm just gonna use my lip plumper this is by Too Faced and this is the only high-end product that I'm gonna be using in today's video also because this is one of my favorite lip product these days I cannot do without a lip plumper especially because when you see your lips uh, with a lip plumper it's a little difficult to go back you know so I'm just gonna use this prep my lips before we move on In about a minute or so, you guys are gonna see redness around my lips. That's when you know it's working. It starts stinging and everything. But I'm sort of used to it, so anyway. All right, first things first, even for this sort of a makeup look, you have to have to moisturize your face. I mean, that's a given. You cannot skip moisturizer, be it any kind of makeup look, okay? I have this moisturizer by Oria Ayurveda. This is their Pai Manjal and Kesar Day, Day Lotion. Wow. I've had this moisturizer for quite a bit, so I thought I'm just gonna give it a try. It's nice and thick. I've taken quite a bit as you can see and this is the amount of moisturizer I generally use before makeup because when you use makeup with all the products it sort of sucks the moisture out of your skin you know so always always like use enough moisturizer so that your skin is really plump before you start using products oh, my lips stinging using the NYX pore filler primer I'm taking a very little amount just to sort of uh, cover the pores that I have around my nose and as they say not to prime is a crime I was watching YouTube tutorials and someone said not to prime is a crime and I was like yes if you don't prime your face obviously you will not get that smooth finish of makeup so Always prime your face, you guys. Next, I'm gonna use my favorite foundation. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm in the shade 04 Medium Beige. And I'm just gonna take like one pump, just one pump. And I'm not gonna use a beauty blender for this. I'm just using my fingers. And I'm gonna start dotting this foundation all over my face first. I've realized that your fingers are actually capable of blending the foundation a lot better than your beauty blenders also. And it gives you a different sort of a finish. And you end up using a lot less product than what you would otherwise. So it's like a win-win. In case if you don't have beauty blenders, you can always, always use your fingers. Before I became a beauty blogger, I used to use my hands and my fingers to blend my foundation and it used to work all the time. So if you don't have blenders, it's all right. Okay, so basically the whole idea of using a foundation is to give your face an even finish. You can also use a BB cream, but I'm not a fan of BB creams myself, so I don't really use BB creams. And you guys, I have almost like half a pump of foundation still on my hand. So this is what happens when you use your fingers. You end up saving a lot of product. What I'm going to do is just, you know, even out my neck as well. Okay, now that I have the foundation on me, I'm just going to use my damn beauty blender and sort of run it all over my face. So, uh, if I have any extra product or if anything is not blended properly, this is just going to do the job. Next, before I use a concealer, I'm going to use a color corrector. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Nude. Now, this is a very, very, uh, you know, slight peachy color. And I feel like this is perfect for my skin because I... Oh 
Okay, so what I'm gonna, oh my God. what I'm gonna do is just very lightly, I'm gonna dab it on the areas where I have slight pigmentation. So I'm basically like spot correcting all of my scars. And very lightly, I'm also gonna correct the under eye area. Just using a very tiny amount, like barely there sort of an amount. Once I have the product on my face, I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender and I'm gonna use the pointy end of it. I'm gonna start tapping it right where I've placed the product. You don't wanna move the product everywhere. It's a spot correction, so you wanna make sure that the product stays where it is and use a very light hand while you're doing it like very very light hand I'm just literally bouncing the blender off my face after my corrector I'm going to use the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal Concealer this is in the shade Pure Beige this concealer is exactly my skin color and I'm not going to be using a brightening concealer which is what I do generally to sort of make my face look a bit more awake and you know like a bit brightened but that's not the kind of effect we're going for we are actually trying to keep our skin to look like skin i mean our makeup to look like skin and hence i will not be using a brightening concealer i'm gonna go with something that is very close to my skin color again i'm just gonna use this product and start applying it on the areas where i have color corrected this is one of my favorite concealers you guys if you have this concealer you know what i'm talking about this concealer is so beautiful it's a very everyday sort of a concealer very lightweight and they have so many shades in this check it out if you're you know ever planning to get a concealer and now to blend out the concealer i have this dense concealer brush by nika and I'm going to start tapping the product in its place as I did before. But this time I'm using the concealer brush. Because, you know, with a brush or with a finger, you don't really end up picking a lot of product. The product stays in place. Okay, so now once you're done with your concealer, this is how it should look like. It's not a full coverage foundation routine, so do not expect all of your scars and all of your marks to be hidden. Uh, but what I'm going to do is run my beauty blender again all over my face just to make sure everything is seamlessly blended in. Okay, next, I'm going to use a fluffy powder brush and I'm going to take a little bit of powder on this. We're not going to bake, obviously. I'm just going to very lightly dust this powder to set all of the liquids around my eyes. Again, I'm not using a lot of product, it's bare minimum, just very lightly dusting the powder over my face to just set the foundation and all of the liquids in place, that's all. I'm gonna contour my face and for that, again, I'm gonna use the Pack Takeover Concealer. I think this is the first time, yeah, I was using LA Girl. So this is the Pack Takeover Concealer. There is no shade mentioned here, but I'm gonna mention the link down below. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how I will use it. I'm not gonna directly apply on my face. I'm just gonna take a very tiny amount on the back of my hand like that. And then using the same powder brush that I used earlier, I'm just going to dip it once and then I'm going to sort of blend it on my hand to make sure that there is no patchiness to it. This is also just going to remove all of the excess product and you will have a very light tint of brown that you need to just sort of uh, contour your face. And I'm going to start stamping it around my cheekbone area as you can see it's not a lot of product it's very tiny amount and it also gives you a very airbrushed sort of a contour it's barely there it's sort of it's just perfect you know it's now again this is optional in case if you are not very pro contour if you're very scared of contouring your face you can totally skip this step i'm doing it because i really love how my face looks after i've contoured it a little show that
I'm going to use this blush tint by Earth Rhythm. It's their lip and cheek tint. Um, there is no shade mentioned, but I'm going to like put the link in the description box below. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to apply the tint on the back of my hand and use a beauty blender. And I'm just going to sort of bounce excess product here on the back of my hand. And once you can see that, you know, it's spreading nice and even and there's no patchiness, that is when you start applying the product on your face, okay? Again, I'm going to just start bouncing the product and take it backward, okay? And now because we want to keep it very simple and, you know, very, very seamless and it should not look like you're wearing makeup, so I'm not going to apply a lot of blush. I hate saying that, but we're going to keep it very minimum, okay? Like barely there. I think I overdid on my nose, but I like it. It's cute. Next, I'm going to use a liquid highlighter. For that, I have the Wet n Wild Mecca Glow Hello Halo Highlighter. Hello Halo Highlighter. Now, if you want to keep your makeup matte, this is where you can stop. But, you know, this makeup already has a little bit of glow to it. It's, it's sort of like, you know, glowy and dewy. But if you want to add slightly more dew to it, then use a liquid highlighter. And again, I'm going to take a little bit of product on the back of my hand like this. I'm running out of space, you guys. This is how your hand should look by the end of it if you want to do this makeup look, okay? Again, I'm going to take a little bit of product on the back of my uh, blender. Start bouncing it. Okay, I'm going to just start tapping it on the high points of my face. And you see how luminous my skin looks when you use a blender to apply highlighter although it picks up most of the product but the finish is just very pretty okay now with that we're done with the base and now to give my face a little bit more structure i'm gonna fill in my brows and i'm not gonna like you know overdo my brows but just like slightly fill them up and for that i have the l'oreal paris brow artist expert i'm gonna first use the spoolie end of it and just brush all of the hair upwards now i'm gonna just very lightly start filling in my brows in like short upwards growths scrolls Again, just buff it out using the spoolie and okay, guys for my eyes I'm gonna use the same brow pencil and I'm gonna sort of stamp towards the corner and create a very soft wing it just sort of gives your eye an overall lifted and elongated effect and once you have the wing you want to just merge it with your eyelid again this is an optional step you don't really have to do this but i feel like it looks nice like it looks cute curl my lashes and always curl towards like the end if you have smaller eyes like curl the ends more and for my mascara I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara and I'm gonna just very lightly brush the lashes to make it look as natural as possible Now, either you could just wear a lip balm like I am and be done with your makeup look or I'm going to show you this other hack that I've been doing recently. I just use a lip liner which is sort of one shade darker to my lip color and I'm going to line my lips, like sort of just overdraw my lips. And very lightly use the same uh, lip liner to fill my lips. I'm not gonna like fill them completely. Next, I'm gonna use my fingers and I'm gonna just 
blend everything even the edges out so that it looks nice and faded it doesn't look like i have anything on my lips at all that is it for today i hope you enjoyed this makeup look it's a bit more technical than your regular no makeup makeup and your full coverage makeup look obviously but once you do it trust me you will really love the finish because it looks like your second skin it's not too much it's very light i can hardly feel the weight of makeup on my face if you ever try it out do tag me in your stories i would love to see it and with that that is it for today don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you next time bye